Serikali ilikuwa imejitokeza kudhibitisha utayari wake wa kukabiliana virusi vya corona kwa kuweka mikakati kabambe hii ni baada ya wakenya katika mtandao wa kijamii kulalamikia serikali kwa kukosa kutilia maanani usalama wa wakenya haya najiri baada ya safari ya ndege kutoka Uchina kushuhudiwa hiyo jana In terms of the preparedness measures the ministry continues to maintain the high surveillance system at all points of entry of facilities and communities across the country. So far, the ministry, through its surveillance system, has been able to pick 17 alerts, all which tested negative for the disease. Further, the government has put in place the following key interventions. Number one, as mentioned by the CAS, the contingency plan, the country has developed a national contingency plan to guide implementation of priority preparedness and response activities in view of the threat posed by importation of COVID-19 into Kenya. Number two, in terms of governance, we have adapted a whole government approach and a multi-agency approach at two levels. One, technical, where the principal secretary sits, and policy level, where the various ministers sit. Below that, we have the task force, which sits every alternate day. Through these ministries, departments, and agencies have been brought on board as one government to deal with this threat. Number three, activation of the emergency operations center. The emergency operations center has been activated and is closely monitoring the evolution of the outbreak across the globe. In addition, the rapid response teams are on standby to inv investigate any alert anywhere in the country. In terms of diagnostic capacity, as the Horn's Cabinet Chief Administrative Secretary has stated, we have in-country uh, capacity to be able to now diagnose at two laboratories, at the National Influenza Center, and at the National Public Health Laboratories, and at the Kemri Reference Laboratories. Uh, number five is in terms of screening. Mandatory screening is ongoing at all points of entry to minimize the risk of importation of the virus from the 38 affected countries. As at to date, a total of 320,123 travelers have been screened across various points of entry since 20th January 2020.